Today I'll prove that in a vector space, if you have a finite spanning set of vectors, this can be reduced down to a basis by possibly removing vectors from this finite spanning set. Okay, um, so let's make the finite spanning set. Let's make it V1, V2, up to Vn. This is our finite spanning set of vectors. Okay, so in order for this spanning set to be a basis, it needs to be linearly independent. So if this set is already linearly independent, it means the job is already done because we already have a basis and we don't need to remove any vectors. However, if, uh, if this is not linearly independent, It means there exists a linear combination, so a1, a1, v1, plus a2, v2, plus dot dot dot, plus a n, v n equals zero, zero vector, where the a1s, where the values a1, a2, so where not all the values are zero. So there exists, exists uh, values a1, a2 up to an. So there exists all these ai's. And now, let's, uh, without loss of generality, so we'll log that a1 is not equal to 0. So we know at least one of the a's is not equal to 0, so let's we'll log that a1 is not equal to 0. This means we can write, we can rearrange the above equation as a2 v2 plus a3 v3 plus dot 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 plus a n v n. v n is equal to negative a1 v1. So we can write v1 as, we can divide by a1, a uh, negative a1 because it's not zero. So we have negative a2 over a1 v2 minus a3 over a1 v3 and minus dot 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 minus a n over a 1 v n so we can write v 1 is a linear combination of the rest of the v's okay so now what i'll do is remove remove v 1 from the set so remove v 1 from the set and now the remaining set will be v2, v3, and so on, up to vn. And now we'll prove that this is still a spanning set. So even after removing v1, we'll prove this is still spanning. And uh, the reason is let x be an arbitrary vector. So arbitrary vector in the vector space. This can be written as a linear combination of all the v's including vn. So v1, v2 and v up to vn we can write a linear combination. So we can write it as b1, v1 plus b2, v2 plus dot 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 plus bn, vn. Okay, but now we can replace v1 with this linear combination of everything from v2 up to vn. So we can actually write b1 times, we have negative a2 over a1 v2 minus a3 over a1 v3 dot 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 minus a n over a1 v1 uh, vn and then the rest is still the same. Okay and by collecting the like terms of the, each of the vectors and for example Combining this term of v2 with this term over here, we can rewrite x as a linear combination of c2 v2 plus c3 v3 plus so on until c n v n. So, for example, we will have c2 is equal to negative a2 b1 over a1 plus b2.
that's just an example of where the seeds are coming from. So it's coming from this and this. So we can write any arbitrary vector x as a linear combination of all the vectors from v2 to vn. So this proves, this successfully proves that this set is still spanning. So we successfully proven when we remove v1 from the set, the rest of the vectors are still spanning. And now what we do is uh, keep on removing vectors, keep on removing appropriate vectors, appropriate vectors if the current, if the current set is still not linearly independent. So that means we now have this set v2 up to vn and if this is still not linearly independent we can again it means again there exists uh there exists some linear combination that adds up to zero and then you can find a non-zero number one of the non-zero numbers in the linear combination and replace the corresponding you can again do a similar process where you you can remove a vector from the set that corresponds to a non-zero coefficient in the linear combination and when even after you remove that vector it will still be spanning set you keep on removing appropriate vectors if the current set is still not linearly independent and eventually this process must finish because you can't have you can't have zero vectors left because zero vectors don't even will not be a spanning set so Eventually the process must stop and eventually you must have a linearly independent set that is still spanning. So eventually, so the process, so when the process stops, the result is linearly independent and the spanning property will be preserved. So the spanning property is still there. So and this will be a basis which because it is linearly independent and also a spanning set so we've got a basis okay so this successfully proves you can remove some amount of vectors from the v's to eventually get a, a basis so the spanning property is still kept and when you remove vectors it will eventually become linearly independent so this successfully proves this theorem Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.